Stephen. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm amazing. It's nice to meet you and congratulations. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you. So everyone that I typically interview, I ask them to tell me besides just your name, who are you and what is it that you love most about yourself in this world? Wow. Thank you for that. Um, well, I have given myself a moniker, a nickname that describes me, which is the origin forager. And so basically what that means is um, I have a belief system that um, goes like, if you want to love something, then you have to understand it. And if you want to understand it, you have to know where it's come from. So you can't really love something that you don't know where it's come from. Mm. So I like to figure out where things come from, especially in the world of food. Yeah. And you've given us that. And this is such a gift. I was literally, because I'm from North Carolina, um, and I was talking to my mom about this documentary, docuseries, because I just, I knew, and I've always known that everything traces back mm -hmm. to home. But to see you put it all together down to like okra and apple pie and things like that, it's it's overwhelming. Yeah. It is. Yeah. How did you, because of your experience with food, how did you manage to take this on <laughs> without being overwhelmed? Yeah, I, I was honestly just so humbled um that I had been asked to you know be the, the face of this journey that um I felt I had to say yes you know um I think it's important for for you and um, others to know that for me Dr. J um the author of High on the Hog was a very very instrumental figure in my professional life um was a main source of inspiration and in me really believing in um, the power of using food as a means of, of exploration of one's own history and identity. Um, and so just to be able to share the screen with her and, and be able to um, reinterpret this work in a new medium for new generations and new audiences all over the world, um, even if the camera wasn't there, that would have been the most incredible experience of my life. Yeah. So it yeah. was really just such a huge, huge honor. Yeah. What, what do you feel like is the best thing that you've learned in this journey? Oh, wow. Um, I think that um, I'm just, I'm looking forward to learning um, how other people are receiving it. You know, my my own personal relationship with food is I'm a very food obsessed individual, mm -hmm. um, you know, even beyond um, I like to eat like I really like to know about food. I like to read about food anthropology, food origins, food history. So I don't expect everyone to kind of share my over the top all consuming love of food. Um, and yet there are certain elements of the show in which that is present. So I'm really just looking forward to, you know, um, seeing how people react to this show that's in part food, but also in part like food history too, because that's the stuff that I'm really interested in. Yeah, it does a lot to create uh, belonging and pride around our food. And so like there was a line where one of the men that you were interviewing talked about all the suffering and all the suffering we were still able to create cuisine and food means so much to us and I'm interested in to knowing like what is your experience when it comes to soul food when it comes to black food yeah well as far as soul food you know um my father is a very very talented cook and his uh genre his specialty is soul food so it's a cuisine that is most native to my own palate growing up in Georgia um it is something that I think reflexively if you were to ask like the average African American person be like what is black food to you then they're probably going to start listing 
uh, things that we call soul food. So um, I was very lucky to have a, a strong um, connection, food connection in my house and seeing the presence of a, of a man in, in the kitchen because we know food can be gendered sometimes or mm-hmm. cooking can be gendered in US culture. Um, and then on my maternal side, my grandmother too, you know, um, she passed when I was, I was very young, RIP, mm-hmm. but like I do have strong memories of every single Sunday after church, rushing to granny's house, my, my dad and my granny cooking together, um, like the whole family there, all my cousins, a bunch of cake, fried chicken, like macaroni and cheese every week. So it's really a part of who I am um, personally. And I'm really hoping that so many of, um, you know, our kin who see this for the first time and will will be moved to, um, you know, explore a little bit more about where these foods have come from and in doing so learn about our own um, history as a people. Real with that. Real with that.